chill computer guy today we're in reason 10 we're talking about vst instruments in reason 10 what i did is i real quick threw a loop together There's no rack extensions no reason devices well i have these i have these kongs but they're they're just kind of dormant i'm not really using them this is part of my drum template which eventually will be built um this whole section right here on the left is all drum template stuff so disregard that but mainly what we have here is a song that uh, doesn't use any rack extensions or reason devices. It's basically, uh, if we take a look at the uh, the sequencer here, you can see what we have. If you hold Alt, click that arrow, you can see uh, what we have here is we have a chord. We have uh, every single bar. We got a, like an 808. Looks like a boom, boom from. Uh, yeah, we got the boom from. Uh, yeah anyway and then we got this uh, all shiny full drum loop this is a very complex drum loop i hate using drum loops but in this instance i'm just i did this real quick just to try to throw something together this whole thing was to just test these uh these vsts these plugins the idea of using my waves plugins in propeller head reason is mind-blowingly exciting because the uh, waves plugins um, are just the mo they're very very musical plugins they're just they give just shitloads of character to your, to your sound and so um, in my opinion more so than than rack extensions do that's just in my opinion that's just in my opinion the thing is is waves plugins I love the waves plugins they're normally super expensive but they have sales you know um let me go ahead and take we'll take a look at the ipa so let's take a look this is the ipa 2500 compressor now this is normally a 299 dollars compressor it's on sale 29 bucks it's 30 bucks so all waves plugins will eventually be on sale for 30 bucks they have this rotating sale and if you just wait every single plugin will be 29.95 eventually you may have to wait like forever but they always rotate through the cycle and now with it being close to christmas they got like 80 plugins that are 30 bucks and so the ability to to pick up a couple of these right now is has never been better because these these plugins here give you just a massive amount of character give your sound character give your it, they're just very musical plugins um and the idea of using these in a reason environment you know using these in with the reason rack with the ssl with you know i mean the sequencer does have some issues but you know it's just um yeah i really like using vsts in the reason environment and the reason for this little quick little test is i was testing dsp and the dsp is surprisingly good right now um you can see right now we have uh what do we have eight so we have eight vsts running but that's all that's running it's a drum loop and uh, some chords on the anna 2 and then uh, three instances of IPA 2500, C4, the Butch Vig vocal, and a Nectar. Um, so, you know, let's take a look. Let's list the song real quick, and we'll take a look at the DSP.
Now another great thing about VSTs is this green light, this power button, as soon as I click this, it deactivates the VST, removes it from using any DSP. It's very it's basically you're deactivating this effect. You know, the fact that you have a button here to deactivate this um, is really powerful when it comes to using VSTs. Not only that, yeah, so let's say this plug in here, let's say you open it and then you pin it. You know, you got your pin, you pin it down. If you deactivate it, it'll also make it disappear and then if you reactivate it it will actually pop up right on the screen there so that's uh, pretty powerful something about the VSTs is um, they uh, they can be deactivated and as far as I know you know rack extensions I don't know if they can or reason devices I guess you can just unplug them from the rack I just don't I just like the idea of being able to completely deactivate certain sections of the rack I wish that what we could do is have like a rack a way to deactivate an entire rack I think that would be a massively powerful thing if you know propeller head reason 10.5 maybe make it so you can put all your stuff in a rack and then deactivate that entire rack and then have like active racks because as far as DSP allocation the way it's used um, the way it's, it's allocated out to the devices is is being able to hit this green button and completely deactivate this from using DSP. I really, really like that. I like that so much that I'm really considering only using VSTs. I might use a few, um, maybe utilities as far as rack extensions, but I, there's a lot of rack extensions that, like this, for example, this synth right here. This is the Anna 2 right here. This synth right here, the Anna 2. Like this takes the place of a lot of rack extensions for me just because I really like uh, the uh, the sound engine and this is incredible and I really really like programming it this is a great sense to program right here now one issue I do have with the VSTs is when you open them up um, they appear in a window which is great it's a pop-up window and you got like this thing we'll keep it open automation remote screenshot all this stuff's great I love this but there's no header. I don't know what instrument this is on. There's no indication of what instrument this is on. This this needs to say Vox Bus uh, C4. You know what I mean? Um, maybe even considering making the, the label color. Maybe even this color here. You know, actually make the header this color. Make it so I have some sort of a, you know, a mix channel type setup that goes with the header of the VST you know and in that way you can actually tell to which channel this belongs I have to no idea to which channel this belongs it just says C1 stereo but yeah so using VSTs of propeller head reason is pretty amazing I mean it's uh, yeah it's it's pretty cool being able to flip this around and use like uh, VSTs in the rack environment and be able to route them exactly how you want be able to know where everything's going um, you know, eventually when I do add my drum buses in here and start to get some sounds going, um, yeah, I could see myself only using the Kong. You know, it's going to be the Kong and VSTs. But yeah, I'd like a darker uh, rack interface, man. This thing is bright and bugging my eyes right now. Anyway, uh, Chill Computer Guy, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the content. Let me know what you want to see. But yeah, this basically is VSTs running in propeller head reason. They run in great. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really like the VST platform and propeller head reason here. Mm -hmm.